Hi, I'm Jessica, and welcome to my channel, Truth at Home. Today I'd like to demonstrate to you three simple hairstyles that any busy mom can do. So, I'm the kind of person that likes hairstyles that can be done in between one to three steps and take between five to ten minutes to do. So um, I know there's a lot of hairstyle videos out there that show you how to do all these cute hairstyles, but for me, a lot of them take too much time. And that's not the thing for me. The thing for me is short, easy, and snappy. And that's what I'm going to be demonstrating to you today. So. For these hairstyles, the only things that we're gonna be needing are just some regular bobby pens. I have three. A regular brown hair band. Well, brown if your hair is brown. So um, my hair is brown and it matches my hair and I actually have one in here right now and I like the brown because it's not too conspicuous. Um, I'm gonna be using the Flexi Clip, which I got not too long ago and I've been trying it in my hair and I really, really like it. Um, if you do not have a flexi clip, it's okay. You can still do these hairstyles with just bobby pins. Um, these are a little bit larger, as you can, as you can see here. Here's a regular bobby pin, and here's a larger one. Um, I like the larger ones for doing things like buns. And, um, of course, a brush, some hairspray if you want, and that's it. The first thing I wanted to say before beginning the demonstration is that for those of you who may have watched one of my previous videos about cutting my hair short compared to what it was, um, you might be interested to see how long it is getting. So if you can see here in the video, it's actually about down to waist length. I'm really happy with it. I can't wait for it to get longer. Before I cut, it was actually down to the bottom of my bottom. <laughs> um, and it was a really fun length because I could do so much with it. And then once I cut it short, I couldn't do as much, but it was easier to deal with because I was pregnant and so tired all the time. And I didn't actually mean to cut it that short. It just happened um, because my husband, he helped me he helped me do it and he misunderstood something that I was telling him. Anyway, so it's taken me a couple years to go from about here to waist length. Um, but I feel like it's pretty good growth and um, I can't wait to show you in future videos um, how my hair continues to grow because I really do love really long hair. All right, so that's it for the intro and let's get started in, into the demonstrations. So to start out this first hairstyle, I'm just going to separate some of the hair on the top of my head from the rest of the hair. And I can either leave it up into a little bit of a puff, like so, or I can pull it down and further to the back to make it have a more sleek look, which is what I'm going to do for this look. So once I get it into the back, I just secure it with a bobby pen. Then I start work on the other side. Um, you may notice in this shot that my hair on the top corner of my forehead is a little bit thin, and that's just because of postpartum hair fallout. Um, and that's one reason why I try to pull that down a little bit, that hair down a little bit, to kind of make it look more, just make it look better. So I secure that second side with another bobby pin, and then I actually put a third in over... Um, over one of those bobby pins just to help secure it in better and keep it from moving around. So um, I just loosen up a little bit of the hair next to the top of my head. Um, I feel like this gives it a more elegant look instead of just having everything just flat down. And this is uh, one of the ways I do my hair after I take a shower just to get it out of the way. Now I'm starting on the French braid. I gather some hair from the right side, and then I gather a little bit of hair from the left side, and then I pull those two parts together into the middle into one bunch of hair, and I divide that bunch of hair into three parts, 
three sections, which I then begin to braid. And then once I get to the point to where I don't have any more hair to grab, I just continue the braid all the way down. I like having a lower French braid um, instead of starting the French braid up high like some people do, I like to start it down lower. Um, I feel like it looks better on me because that way I can keep the hair kind of covering the sides of my forehead and over the tops of my ears. And I can also give it that little poof in the back which gives it a really elegant look. Um, most days I actually don't do the French braid. I just do a regular braid. It's a lot quicker. Um, sometimes I don't even do the poof. Sometimes I just do a braid. But when I really want my hair to look nice, I'll do the poof and I'll even add on the French braid. And it just gives that gives it that extra notch above, which just makes it look like you've spent a lot of time on your hair and you know what you're doing, even though you're just doing like a really simple basic hairstyle that took you like five minutes. Now I can take that same hairstyle and I can tweak it a little bit to make another type of hairstyle in order to get some of that hair out of my way a little bit better. So I just take the braid and I twist it around and um, then I use the flexi clip to secure it. So I just stick one end of the stick through one side of the bun. I push it underneath, grab some of the hair next to the scalp, and um, put the stick in through the other side of the flexi clip. And as long as I get some of the hair next to the scalp, it um, will stay very well. By the way, um, for those of you who are interested, in the description box below this video, I have included a link that will get you to the site where I got this flexi clip. Um, I've really been enjoying the flexi clip because I can use it to secure my hair without having to use a whole bunch of bobby pins. And um, besides that, it just looks really, really pretty and it makes it look like you've spent a ton of time on your hair when you really haven't. Okay, so for this third look, I'm not going to do a braid at all. I'm just going to do a ponytail and then a bun. Um, the thing that I like about this hairstyle, though, is that I, I put the ponytail in first, which helps the bun to stay better. If I don't do the ponytail first, the bun flops around a lot more easier. At least that's been my experience. Um, also, the ponytail allows me to give my hair a little poof, um, and I like that. I think it gives it a better, a, a softer, more elegant look. So then I just twirl the hair around, and then I form a bun, and I don't like to make the bun too twi too tight, sorry, because um, that it makes it hard for me to form it into the shape that I want it. So I kind of loosen it up, which is what you're seeing me do here. I kind of loosen it up until I get it into the form that I want it, and then I tuck the ends underneath. And um, you're actually gonna see that I leave one of the ends untucked on accident, but if I had my mirror, I would have noticed that and I would have fixed it. So same thing as with the braid, I just tuck in the flexi clip, um, you know, starting on one side, going underneath, catching some of the hair next to the scalp, and on the other side of the hair thing, the ponytail and then going out through the other side. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video of super easy hairstyles for the busy mom that look really elegant. And um, I hope to see your comments in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much. Bye.